Hello everyone, Coach Carol here again. Today is January 29. And today my tip is all about how to network with other genealogists. I have some slides to share with you and a few tips on how you can drill down into those genealogy networks. Let's have a look at the first one. Just change that slightly so the picture is bigger for you. And in fact, you don't need to see my face. It's covering up some of the text. So in this first slide, I'm talking about the Facebook networks for genealogy and family history, of which there are many. I've just focused in on a few today and how you can find the ones that are just right for you. So when you're in Facebook, do a search for groups that have either family history or genealogy in their titles. And as you see the list that pops up, look for those that have large memberships, thousands. You want to have plenty of people in there with whom to share and to learn from. When you get there, look at how frequent their postings are in their discussions. That way you can be sure that they're manned and live in the period of time that you want them to be. And look for those where you've got a sharing community. People are willing and helpful to answer your questions and to share their blogs and other places with you. So that is the first one on my list today. Let us just go now to the second one. And this one is all about Twitter. My more recent discoveries of people, places and learnings for genealogy have all come from the Twitter verse where many genealogists are gathering in their thousands. So one thing that you can do when you go to your Twitter account is to search with hashtags. Now you're all familiar with the hashtags. For example, if you put in a search for hashtag family history, you may come up with a list of those that you want to explore. Your tag could be anything to do with genealogy or family history. And then once you have that, you can be sure to see the method messages from people within that group. The third one is following on about Twitter. Once you have drilled down into a group, you'll often find that there are special, special Twitter threads that you want to explore. For example, the one on my genealogy story has sparked a lot of interest amongst genealogists recently in the Twitter threads. And there's a follow up from many people about that. So do have a look at hashtag my genealogy story. So these are just three of the ways in which, let's come back to the screen, in which you can explore the network of genealogists around you online. There are many more places to go, of course. I've just picked on two where I am often found posting Facebook and Twitter. There's also, of course, LinkedIn and Instagram. So don't forget those. So if you're at the stage where you're looking for help or you want to just share what you're doing or get inspiration from other genealogists, I do advise you to network widely with other genealogists. If you would like to follow one of my groups on Facebook, this one is a public group called Digital Storytelling Online, and you're welcome to come over there, answer the questions, and become a member. 
I also have a Facebook page that you can have a look at and see all the latest things that I'm posting there. And that one you can find at www.facebook.com forward slash Coach Carol online. So that is probably enough for this particular tip, which was all about networking with other genealogists. I hope you've enjoyed these tips today and you can explore your network of genealogists soon. I'll be back again later with my last tip for January. Bye for now.